We learn more today about what happened to the ballots that were inside that Baldwin Park drop box that was set on fire over the weekend. That fire has led to a big change. And NBC4's Gordon Tokumatsu explains. We do need to go uh, carefully through those. So Dean Logan says each and every ballot will be tracked back to the person that dropped it in the box before the fire happened. This morning, L.A. County's registrar finally got them back from arson investigators. There were 230 pieces of um, material that, that were turned over to us. It likely took so long because FBI agents have now been included in the search for clues. So far, no one has been arrested. In most cases, we are able to at least make out the, the voter information that, that is printed on the envelopes. Logan's office says anyone who dropped a ballot in this box after 10, 10 a.m. Saturday should contact his office. As of last night, 20 had already done so. That leaves more than 200 who have not, but he's confident he'll find them all. One major thing that's changed since this happened is ballot pickups. Before the fire, more than 400 boxes like this around the county were emptied every 48 hours. Now it's done daily. At his briefing this morning, the registrar was asked about fire suppression devices. In Orange County, all drop-off boxes have them, with sensors that explode with an extinguishing powder when flames are detected. He says L.A. County looked into them, but decided against using them. The suppression unit itself um, destroys ballots or makes, makes the, the, it, it sprays stuff on the ballots and would make them harder to, to recover. In Baldwin Park, Gordon Tokumatsu, NBC4 News.